Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's Patricia. Today I am going to do a day in my life slash weekend vlog for you guys. So if you're interested, keep watching. As you can see, I have my full makeup on. Well, not full makeup, but some makeup. I decided to put on some lashes today. So that is always fun. Haven't really done my makeup in a long time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. When I post a video, it will be in the new year. So happy new year, everybody. I have been thinking about and reflecting on the past year and what to do and what kind of things I want to do in this upcoming year and just stuff like that. Also, I've been maybe wanting to dye my hair darker, like back to like one of my natural hair colors. I don't know, I've been blonde or had somewhat of blonde in my hair for a very long time, like since high school. So yeah, it's kind of like a huge change if I were to dye my hair back dark. But yeah, I don't know. Le let me know in the comment section. I'd probably go like a dark brown or like maybe like a medium ashy brown first and then I would go darker from there. I don't know. Or should I just keep the highlights and keep it as is? Let me know in the comment section down below. I am meeting up with a friend, going to get some bubble tea, so I'll see you guys there. And yeah, nothing has really changed much in my room um, since I my last video about the IKEA shelf. Uh, I did get a plant, so I will show you that. So this is the little hanging plant that I got. Got it from the Sunday plant store. And then I have like a little artificial plant there, and then yeah. I don't know what to put in this one yet. Maybe like some pompas grass, but that's gonna be in the new year. As you guys know, stuff gets so expensive. But yeah, I kind of like this one. I think it's like a Swiss cheese plant. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I like how this is so far. And I ended up moving my Monstera closer to the window. So hopefully it can have more slits in it. I should maybe wash the leaves. But yeah, this is what happened last time when I put it near the window. So we'll see how it goes. The soil is pretty um, moist, so I don't know if it has root rot or whatever, but yeah. Honestly, the weather has been super nice here in Calgary. Like, honestly, I can't believe how nice it's been so far. Yeah, I've literally just been wearing like sweaters and like light jackets and a vest. So that's awesome. I do plan on doing my rental series videos again in the upcoming year, or we'll say starting for January, um, just because I haven't done it in a few months. I know I said I was gonna do like a monthly thing, but I feel like it kind of got pretty repetitive and yeah, so that's why I haven't done that in a long time but I find the rental market is a little bit different now. Um, I see like a few people on the rental groups at least, if you are looking for a room, if you still are considering moving here. People are like really looking for people to rent their space. I don't know, some people overcharge, so that's probably why. And then some other people are kind of having a hard time finding roommates. So I don't know, it kind of depends on your situation, what you want. Um, but yeah, that's what I've noticed at least. I know in the winter months anyways, usually people don't really rent as much uh, or move in the winter time just because it does get pretty cold here. So yeah, that's kind of like a little snippet or a little bit of an update on that. I will film a actual rental video and um, people have been wondering about the apartment tours as well. Honestly, uh, with the apartment tours, they were so much easier to do back then um, because the market was less competitive. Now the market is still super competitive and if I were to do like another rental apartment tour type of thing, um, it's very hard to get a spot and they want to make sure you're serious when you're going in there usually. like. I don't know, when I go, I'm like, oh, I'm looking for maybe like this day, like what, do, what are the options and stuff. So yeah, I'll maybe look into it, maybe do some more in the upcoming year. Also got some video ideas of like question and answer, like Q and A's again. I did one last year. I don't know if you guys remember or if you've seen it, um, but I can maybe do another one. Let me know in the comment section. So this is the outfit before I leave, a little bomber, this is from Aritzia, got it on sale at the 
sale, uh, Boxing Day sales, 50% off. I love their jackets, to be honest. Good investment. They're a little bit more pricier. And then I'm wearing my Converse. I haven't worn these in like almost a year, so this is the fit. Okay, I just got home. We were supposed to go out for bubble tea in Chinatown, but we ended up just staying at the core and getting bubble tea there. And I ended up picking up a few things. I got something from Aritzia, and then I got this mug here from Winners. Actually, the cashier that was checking me out uh, from the Winners, <laughs> He was, uh, he's a, well, I don't know if he's a subscriber, but he told me he saw my videos online. So if you're watching this, hey again, thanks for helping me out. <laughs> Since I am in Calgary, sometimes some people recognize me from YouTube, so it's just kind of funny. But yeah, so if you ever see me around, feel free to say hello. Don't be shy. <laughs> and yeah, so at Aritzia, I just got this little cute purse because, let me actually show you. Cute, right? Was on sale, 10% um, off. So yeah, it's cute, not too expensive. Some purses are like really, really expensive. But this one's really cute. I usually use like a bum bag, but I thought I would get something a little bit more dressier. And it's actually a decent size. Like I think this will hold a lot of things. So yeah, cute. And now um, I'm gonna make some dinner and kind of just relax tonight, nothing too crazy going on. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm making. So I decided to make some salmon. I haven't really ate salmon in a while from, yeah, my knowledge. <laughs> Here we are, got some veggies going, having some green beans. I usually buy the frozen vegetables now because they don't go bad as fast. Here's some rice, gotta have a starch, I guess. And then here's the final product. I ended up ordering a fan off Amazon, so here's me unboxing it. Um, at the time they had a good sale on it, so I decided to buy it now. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, bought a fan. Um, I was trying to put it together and I didn't read the instructions first. Um, I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but yeah, I should have read the instructions first. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> I was gonna buy a fan, the only reason why I bought a fan is because right now they're on sale and in the summertime or when it becomes summer, it's going to be very expensive to buy a fan. They're gonna jack up the prices because a lot of people don't have air conditioning here um, because a lot of places, they're just built without air conditioning. Um, because it's Alberta, usually it doesn't get, well it used to not get that warm, but recently, I don't know, global warming, whatever. It's getting pretty warm now. So I'm trying to prepare. It was in between this fan and um, this other one I was gonna pick. This other one had like ice, like you can fill it up with water and then it like cools. But I was reading the reviews and it was saying pretty much that it was so hard to get them out and it wasn't really effective anyways. So yeah, pretty much the other review said just buy a normal fan. So this is what I'm doing. So this one I think has eight different levels and yeah. Okay, so I have it running or had it running here. Put it on this oscillation mode. I mean, obviously right now I think the air is pretty good. 
The real test will be on like a 35 degree day. I remember I had an old fan. I didn't end up keeping it here uh, when I moved back to Ontario, but when I ended up selling it, that one was a good fan. Um, but also like with that fan, it was really, really big. This is like a tower fan. So this one's actually pretty good. It, I can hook it up with my phone and then do extra settings on there, I believe. But yeah, I think it's an okay fan from my first impressions. There's like different modes and stuff and then you can do like a timer and then this is like the speed and then there's like a lock one but I think you can set that up on your phone. And then this is like the modes. See's like Wi-Fi mode. Yeah, I don't know, but I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, so I downloaded the app from my phone and I can control it from here. I can put it lower or higher or highest and it will go do like a custom one timer lock all that stuff so yeah this is it I don't know if I really well it's actually pretty cool but yeah, I'll have to see in the summertime. Okay guys, forgot to do an outro, but this is the upcoming vlog that's coming to you. This is our little cold snap. Wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video.